So today we've come to Thetford Forest <laughs> with Mia, uh, my photography friend from Dev, and we've got Esther as well, my flatmate from first year who's a pro at getting the behind the scenes from the last video. And we've also got my flatmate Haz, and we're going to be taking some photos of um, some fire today. Basically the concept is um, we're going to get some bubbles full of gas, butane, butane camping gas on our hands, and um, set fire to it and try and get some good photos. It's a little bit dangerous, so we have taken some pre precautions that I need to tell you about before we go any further. So we've got plenty of water. The ground is damp, it rained earlier, so there's no chance of lighting anything um, on fire. Um, we've also got a damp towel with us, so if anything does end up getting set on fire, we can put it out really quickly. But yeah, we're gonna get some sick shots. I've got this really cool idea for a photo where someone like standing with their hands either side of them, down by their side of their, with their, with their hands on fire. That's the shot I really want to get. This is the first location at the moment, which is a nice long road, um, and hopefully we can get some cool photos here. I wanna feel free like a bird in the sky When he opened his wings and fly on by to the beat of A silent drum that's kicking me So the first photo that we got that I'm most happy with, let me just focus that on my face, otherwise it's going to do my nothing. Ooh, ooh, it's tracking my face. So the first set of photos we tried to get were the ones with the fire in the hand, like I said in the video, the one I really wanted to try and get. Um, and the best ones are these I think we got with Esther. So this is one of my favourite shots from the day. Um, you can clearly see the flames are both, both of them lit in her hands. Trying to get them lit at the same time is actually really difficult. So we had two people on the lighters. Um, to light each hand at the same time and then someone behind the camera to take the photo. But yeah, this one of Esther was probably the best one we got. The, the flames are nice and symmetrical. They both go up to about the same height, which I really like. Um, and if you look really closely, her eyes have got the fire in it as well and they sort of makes her look, she sort of gives her like snake eyes almost. Um, so I really like that one. These are another ones of Esther here um, with the fire in her hands. I really like these ones. The fire isn't as good as it doesn't look as good, the flames aren't as as big and they don't look as impressive, but I think these ones are slightly better because the, the expression on her face, you can see how, how fun it was. Um, yeah, and has had a go at this as well. So this is the photo that I thought turned out the best when we were there. When I saw it in camera, I was like, yes, the flames are nice and symmetrical, it looks really good. So what he did for this one is he sort of dragged his hands down as they were on fire, and as you can see, they, they, they pulled the flames out to a nice, thin, um, symmetrical flame. I really like that. I wish they were a little bit like the flames were a little bit fatter, a little bit thicker, 
We also took some close-ups of the fire on the hands. I wanted to try and isolate the hands just to get a different shot really. And um, we got this one. I like the bokeh in the background on this one. You can see the blue, the greens, the, the sky and the leaves sort of adds to it. If I was going to try and take this photo again, I'd try and darken the exposure a little bit more just because you can see the bubbles on his hands and you can kind of see how we did it. Um, so I think if he had less bubbles on his hands and like he had like almost dry hands underneath if that was possible. And then this one is actually, I showed these photos to Meg, my girlfriend, this is actually her favourite one. You can see the flame is perfectly exposed on this one, everything's dark in the background, you can see the detail in the flame. This is actually like a wide shot of me but um, I don't think the flame's lit at the same time with the lighters so I just cropped it all the way in um, to get this shot. Again, you can see the bubbles on my hand, there's not a lot we could do about that but I feel like if we could have like taken the bubbles away, it would have hid the fact how we did it a bit more and made it a little bit more cool, a bit more like superpower like. But I really like that one. You can, you can see the flame, it's like billowing up. It's like someone's just dropped a nuke on my hand. Um, but yeah, it looks cool. And then the last thing we tried was the newspaper on fire. Actually, no, not the last thing we tried. The second to last thing we tried was the newspaper on fire. Now this was actually really difficult and I'd probably say the most dangerous because you're actually gonna have to hold the flame while it burns basically in front of your face whereas the, the when you put the gas on your hands it only lights for like a second two seconds if that so it just goes goes out straight away because the gas runs out I would definitely not recommend trying it um, so Mia had to go at this one first um, it was really difficult to get the flames like really big I wanted the flames really big the flames really big so what we found is if you turn the newspaper upside down and light it and then sort of flip it up it's a lot harder it's harder to it's harder than you think to um to get the flames coming out the top we saw this one in like Hayden Pedersen if you haven't seen his vlog you check him out this is where the whole video sort of was inspired inspired from they went to this like forest they're Australian YouTubers and they took these shots with a with a newspaper on fire so that was the initial um, sort of inspiration for this video we tried to take it a little a little bit further um, so yeah, we tried the newspaper. Mia went first with this one. This is the shot we got of Mia. Um, I like how she it looks in, like she's reading the newspaper here. Again, I'd like the flames to be a little bit bigger, but I like how it's kind of the kind of symmetrical. It's burning from the inside out. I think that was cool. We tried to light it. If you see, there's a tiny little hole. We tried to light it sort of in the middle of the of the center of the newspaper, so the flames would spread up. Um, but yeah, this this actually proved a lot more difficult. We had probably about five or six tries with this and this is probably the best one of Mia. Yeah, so then I had to go at the newspaper as well and we got this shot. I made sure it lit loads before I flipped it up. The fire was proper burning on this one. So yeah, I had definitely felt the heat on my face. But we got this shot, I sort of propped up against the tree, tried to make, make it look like I was proper reading it, proper casual. Um, and yeah, we got that shot, I really like it. Definitely my favorite one of myself. Um, just the fire is really is really going for it. Um, you can see it's exposed well. You can see all the detail, um, and yeah, probably my favourite shot from the whole shoot actually. And then finally, has had the idea of putting the bubbles on the skateboard and lighting the skateboard and trying to skate it as it was on fire. Um, we got some awesome shots from this. This is the first one. As you're just jumping on, you can see the flames almost going up his leg. They only last for a second, so it it, it looks a lot more dangerous than it is. Trust me, they go out and he wasn't hurt at all and then we also got this one as well which I really like you can see the expression on his face it's so much fun and yeah that pretty much sums up the photos overall I'd rate the shoot probably about an 8 out of 10 in terms of how fun it was um, I think the photos for like sort of our first time trying this sort of fire photography we did a pretty good job I'd rate the photos maybe 7.5 out of 10 so overall really good um, little photo day out with the guys. If you want to follow Mia and Harry, they're both photographers, um, so they'll have some um, more photos that I want in this video on their Instagrams. Um, big shout out to Esther for helping me film behind the scenes. She got a lot of shots that I didn't get. So yeah, big shout out to Esther. And that is pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. It helps a lot. Um, maybe leave a comment down below what type of photography you'd like to see us go out and try again. Again, special thanks to Mia, Harry and Esther for absolutely smashing this video. And yeah, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.